So this game, Remember Me, we both saw it. I think we both walked away pretty impressed by it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we kind of excited Gamescom. about it. Yeah. So you saw it at Gamescom actually, what, two years ago? Last year. Yep. That was when it was still called Adrift. Uh -huh. They were unable to show anything other than some uh, like cityscapes, concept art kind of stuff. Then they didn't say anything about it because they were still at that point looking for a publisher. And then sure. at Capcom's event, they announced that they were going to be publishing it, which was pretty exciting. Yeah. And they changed the name to Remember Me. So it's in Paris in the future. You play this girl. It kind of looks like they're going for a little bit of Uncharted vibe. I think in a lot of ways it's also kind of got a, like a Devil May Cry feel to it and just that you know combat is a huge component of it but you know there's also a lot of uh, emphasis on navigation so it seems like it's definitely something that Capcom would be interested in. At the demo we saw at Gamescom it looked like just kind of button mashy but they did release a deeper dive into how a combo system works right and it's Pretty insane. Like the basics are combat's constructed out of these things that they're calling presses. Basically, each combo is made up of a button press, and those mm -hmm. button presses have different attributes. So, like one might regen your health, or right. another one might set up a finishing move for an enemy, or one does more damage. You can do like I think they said like fifty thousand different combos or something ridiculous like that. They talked about this other move separate from. Pressens, there's something called S pressens or special pressens. And these are like area of attack. One's called logic bomb. You like attach it to a guy. It blows up like the shields. Mm -hmm. Makes them a little bit more vulnerable to your attacks. Right. There's these flying enemies that they call seraphim, I yep. believe. Seraphim, yep. They're mechanical enemies that kind of shoot at you from a distance and they'll interrupt your combos. But you can mind control them with one of your special pressing moves. That might be all they announced at this point, but there's going to be a bunch more. The logic bomb, I think, kind of plays into the overall theme of memory. Nylon has this ability to dig into people's memories and kind of use that to her advantage. And then also there's adventure game-like elements where the one thing that we saw at the announcement was this Just guy. Just one thing you saw? It was just one thing. Remember, okay. no, remember the guy who I was like, forgetting a few things. he was like a, was he like police, no, mayor, police sergeant, I don't know. You went into his memories and convinced him through like moving objects around like that. And it was just like his memory of an altercation with his wife. And you manipulated it in such a way that he thought that he had killed her in a struggle. And then when he finally snapped back to reality after Nylon was done playing with his brain, the police knocked on the door and Originally, they were there to protect him because they thought uh -huh. he was in danger, but he heard the police coming and he was just like, oh no, you're never going to get me alive. Because he thought he had killed his wife or exactly. something like that. So you're not really changing the past at all. You're just changing people's perceptions of what happened, which in that instance is, is pretty powerful Right, stuff. which does affect the future. Yeah, I guess. How does our perception of reality affect our future, Jeff? These are all good questions. Right. I'm glad you like the game because I feel like you and I have seen it and like, mm -hmm. walked away impressed, but I don't hear a lot of people talking about this. Yeah, I think it's one of those that as it gets closer to its release, obviously they're going to make a bigger push for it. It's being developed by a studio called what? Don't Nod, Don't Nod Entertainment. Which uh, I think is their first game. Correct yes. me if I'm wrong. Yeah. They're not really established, so nobody yeah. has any reason to take them seriously. But I'm intrigued. Yeah. Remember me. Don't forget it. I, I have a feeling you're going to be the only person to ever use that in a headline. Yeah? So hang on to it. It's clever. It's good stuff. It's clever.